All right, the district brought in a mental health expert, an advocate for suicide prevention. He spoke at both high schools, the freshman center, as well as here at the Performing Arts Center to talk to parents. One of those parents in attendance tonight lost her son to suicide last year. It was just one thing after another. For Shayna Piedmont, this month is hard. It's the one-year anniversary of when she lost her son to suicide. I miss him walking into my bedroom every morning and saying, Hey, Mom, 500 times a day. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Her son, Joy Hammond, was a freshman, 14 years old. KMBC 9 News has confirmed at least four students in the district killed themselves in the last year. Some parents tell us the number is higher. It's a huge problem here, and I know that the district is doing what they can, but it's it's got to be more. She says Joey was very sensitive. After serving at the animal shelter, he picked out Clarence because no one else wanted him. He's blind and deaf. And <laughs> Um, but he loved that dog. Joey was a good student. He loved soccer and the cello, but he was severely bullied, not physically, but online and through social media. They're mean to each other. They, they have this anonymity with the social media. They can say things. They don't see the reaction that it gets out of the kids. They say hurtful things. Joey was seeing a counselor, a psychiatrist, and he got medication. The bullying got so bad, he wanted to go to a different school. The hardest thing is waking up every morning and realizing that this is real, that this is really my life now, that it's not just a nightmare. It can be a difficult topic to talk about, but these seminars are a step in the right direction. In speaking with parents here tonight, they say they're grateful to the district for bringing this advocate out. Still, prevention experts will say regular resources need to be built into the curriculum annually in order to prevent suicides. Reporting live in Blue Springs, Brian Johnson, KMBC 9 News. The story is absolutely heartbreaking, but Brian, we should mention this isn't just an issue only in Blue Springs. Yeah, absolutely right, Lara. This is happening everywhere. We have gotten all kinds of tips and emails from viewers since our first story aired about this topic last night, and these suicides are happening across the metro. Talking is key to prevention, and it's something every parent needs to have uh, important discussion with their child. Lara.